Back at it again. Back at it again. What it is, what it damn do. Pause here. Keep your eyes on the swivel. Keep your eyes on the swivel. You never know. You never know. You watch your front and watch your cat. I'm telling you. Watch your front and watch your cat. You know what I'm saying? That real talk. I don't know what everybody else doing. And I know who them been warned to do whatever. But hey, watch your front. Watch your cat. Keep your eyes on the swivel. Watch your six. Watch your six. I'm trying to tell you. You know? Like I said, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. But it would behoove you to heed the word of what was said and who it was said to. What well, that means, all eyes should be ready to look at everybody with a certain amount of suspicion now. Absolutely. I don't know what your intention is and what you're doing so close. What you doing? First of all, we're supposed to be practicing social distancing. But you know what? I ain't going to reach my arm out to see if it's far away enough. I'm going to do something else to do the measuring for me. Watch your front. Watch your cat. You know what I mean? That's what's real. That's what's real. You know? Yeah, everybody be on the be, be ready to stand by to stand by and watch your cat. Keep your eyes in your front, but don't forget to watch your cat. That's all I'm saying. You know? And ain't no, ain't, ain't no reason for a whole lot of hot boxing and arguing. That's what I'm saying. Can I talk to you? Let me talk to you. That I ain't I ain't never really been that that, you know, that whoop the whoop loud, you know what I'm saying? Cack, cack. I, I ain't got no reason to do all that if you don't made your intentions known to me. If you don't make your intentions known to me, guess what? You can go ahead and just uh, take off. You can take off. No, I don't mean take off, leave. No, I mean take off. Take a swing. Do whatever you think was going to... Do whatever you think was going to give you the most advantage when you come messing around with this right here. Hot dog, man, come on. Watch your okay. cat. Watch your okay. cat. But if you stand in front, in front of me, man to man, mano or mano, or, you know... Uh, whatever you think you is versus this, I suggest you go for. I suggest you go ahead and bust a move. Bust a mother, bust a move. Do what you gonna do. I ain't got no more arguing for you. Whatever I said, I done offended you. Whatever I said, done made you mad. Whatever I said was wrong, and I won't admit it. Do what you got to damn do. I'm, I'm cool. I'm take off. Do it. Do it. Cause once you do, <laughs> cause once you do, you got to live with your life choices. However much longer life you got left. <laughs> and that's what I mean, and I, that's exactly what I mean. Real talk. The humor ain't even really in that. That was a that was a chuckle of, of mischievousness. That's like I'm gonna welcome you. I'm gonna smile all the way till you get within that distance to where you're now considered a threat. Because I don't see you as a threat. I don't see many people, many things as a threat. But once you enter the realm to where you are now considered a threat, you have to live with the choice you made for your life. However much life you got left to live. Alright then, let's do it. Let's do it. You know, this ain't no rehearsal. We're going live in three, two. Let's do it. Here we go. You know what I mean? But really, I'm just serious. And I'm telling you, like, when somebody and here's another point about what I was saying when I said when I said. Somebody say what their intentions are and say how they are you ain't got no choice but to believe them but once they done proved it to you and they done made it known and it's evident now okay you got to be ready to defend yourself you got to be armed to deal with that you know what i'm saying but don't be a fool and argue yourself into a good out of a good situation you know what i'm saying have you ever been argued out of a good situation just because you don't like the way somebody said something to you or brought it up, but what they were offering you or giving you was the better end of the deal. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You don't even know what I'm saying. Let me tell you what I'm saying. Like, Pete, you had the generosity in your heart. You're a good natured person. You know what I'm saying? You're a real down south di diplomat of the dirty south, right? And you let somebody hold a little piece of money. 
however much time you allowed to go by, you ask that person for that money. You know what I'm saying? You thought it would be long enough. They done surpassed the time you told them. So now you like, what is the deal? What is the deal? Why is you still holding on to my Montes? Why are you still holding on my money? Hey, man, let me go ahead and get that money back from you real quick because you know you said you're going to bring it back Tuesday. It's already Thursday. That's two days past Tuesday. Let me go and get that money back. And they tell you something like this. God, hey, man. Here, boo. Here. Here, boo. They don't put the bow on it. You know that's downside. That's cat. Here, boo. Damn. Here, here go your money, man. Well, I ain't going to never ask you for no money no more. I ain't lying. I ain't bullshit. Don't ask this nigga. Why don't ask this nigga here for no money? Well, I ain't bullshit. I ain't lying. Now, now, they done got loud. They done used some inappropriate words. They done said some things that was way more extra than was necessary about what they owed you. And they had it to give you, but they just hadn't brought the subject up yet. So you did. But you got to hear all that just to get your money back. But don't don't follow it up. Don't follow it up. I ain't going to fight you about money you paying me back. I ain't going to get mad about the fact that I'm now on the list of people you will not ask from for again. You won't ask to get it from me again and because I asked you for it oh well I'm glad we got to understand it. walk away let it go leave it alone they probably a little embarrassed they probably didn't their little pride done hurt a little bit and you know you caught them when they probably weren't prepared to pay you back but they had it to give you and they did don't argue with them don't argue why would you argue this this probably one of the few times you have been lumped into a group you want to be in I'm in the group of people you know not to ask money from, to ask to get money from, because I asked for it back. Well, then, damn it, okay, I'm in that group. And then guess what? I ain't hurting. I ain't hurt. I try to stay in that group and never, ever, ever give you my belongings or anything from me again. I do my best because it makes you mad. It upsets you. I don't want to upset you. I don't want to upset you. The, another example of this, and it might be a little too hot for TV, so you know, if you're a little squeamish of the ears and you know you ain't really got a strong stomach for pimping, you might want to cover your ears and turn the video off right now. But if you is uh, the type of brother, and I am the type of brother, who can attest to being with a female, a female there, and uh, she has done talked herself into a game of uh, chicken. And what I mean when I say chicken is uh, she done decided she gonna let you have some. She done let you talk her into a situation that she wasn't ready to play. She thought you were playing checkers and you were playing chess. She thought she would. She thought you was play pimping and you were packing. And guess what? Now here her ass is folded up in the corner, laying in the book, tooted up, booted up, and would love for somebody to come and save her to get her out of this dog. And you ain't stopped yet. It's five minutes and counting, and she can't stand no more. And what's she going to say? What is you trying to do? How deep you trying to go? Ain't that enough? I already got mine. You need to go and get your... I ain't never messing up with you no more. First of all, all you did was give that man a sympathetic compliment. But, brother, you got to not follow her up in retaliating with words because that's what she wants you to do so she can have a reason to get up. Why you making all this noise? Girl, you can't take no dick. I don't know why you even bother. Girl, I came to nut. I ain't come to play. I came to bust. I ain't come to talk. And that's what you should be thinking in your head. But you should never use these words and engage in her problematic situation. Because she got the problem and you don't. She is going to have to look at you and you look right at her with them cold eyes. And she just got to suffer through these next two to three minutes. Because this is the lesson she got to learn. And she got to learn it. You came to a game and you was not prepared. You were not prepared. You didn't come with the right equipment. You shouldn't have even got your ass in the doggone car. You should have never brought your ass over here. As soon as I'm done with these next three to four minutes of torture and pain, I want your ass off the roster. I want your ass off the team. And I want your ass out the gym. Because you never should have did it in the first place. But I ain't going to argue with you. I ain't gonna, I agree with you. You did not have no business here. You was totally out of your league. You were subpar. And I am superstar. And now... As soon as you finish, and as soon as I'm done, I want your ass off my roster. I want your ass off the team. Take the jersey off and get out my gym because you was not prepared to deal with this pressure. You couldn't handle the workload, and it's going to look real bad on your resume, but I'm going to smile and let you duck walk out of here, but not until I'm done. Have mercy for pimping.